What are you standing on? That does not look like the ground. Yeah, that's alive. That's alive. That thing is huge. What is that? Oh, giant green eye. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, and today I'll be reacting to The Clone Wars Season 2, Episode 18 and 19. Now, Season 2 has gone on to such an amazing start, the whole thing with the sort of Sith side of things being brought back in and just exploring the Force and Jedi culture stuff, that was awesome. Seeing Hondo again and this whole new idea on the mercenaries and bounty hunters, that was great. Cannot wait to see what they do next, because I'm really, right now it's on hot streak for me. There hasn't been sort of a dull episode, it feels great, everything's so action-packed and so world building and important it feels just wonderful to watch and it feels great they've had this many ideas so can i wait to see what happens next and i'm really hoping that it lives up to what's happened so far and if you do enjoy this video please remember to like and subscribe as it really just helps the channel to grow also in august we'll be coming up to the channel's one year anniversary so just love it if we could reach 1000 subscribers by then and also if you do enjoy my content and you want to help support the channel i do have a patreon the link will be in the description over there i'm uploading these videos and the full reaction a week in advance so if that's something you're interested in feel free to check it out with that said, let's just dive on in. Choose what is right, not what is easy. Good, that's a nice one. Better than the last. In one of the longest and fiercest battles of the war, really? Separatist forces are on the verge of claiming the planet Malastare. Malastare. Okay, this is bad. It will cost them vital fuel resources necessary oh. for maintaining their armies. So how do the Separatists get fuel for their armies if they don't have this planet? Has authorized the use of the Republic's newest weapon. The Electro Proton Bomb. Oh, so the Republic actually got something cool now. Good. Duras, the leader of the dogs. The dogs. Jedi count down the minutes. These are the like the um these are the thingies from what was it? Jar Jar fought one. Phantom Menace, right? That was a thing that was and yeah, it raced. I didn't like him. But good that the Jedi finally have a new weapon. Except just constantly get cool new ones. That is a huge army, wow. Dr. Ball has stated that only droids will be affected by the bomb's electron field. The clones and your people will be quite safe. Cool, so it's the Republic version of the thing that was used was going to be used against the Lemurs. That concerns me, Doctor. There must be other options. I'm afraid not. Doesn't seem that bad. It's like a, it sounds like a giant EMP. Hold the package on the bomb drop. Ah, you just lost one. Is it really necessary? You can just let them keep marching, right? And just drop the bomb. Why do you get to keep your troops there? Ah, the flying. Three. So you're losing a lot of stuff right now. Why can't you just launch the bomb already? Is it all of you just die? Yep, launch the bomb already. Oh, here we go. How many you got? You got four of them? Is this gonna work how we intend it to? I don't see what could go wrong, it's a giant EMP. Don't get why they didn't think of it before. They're fighting robots. Like the easiest option. Don't get why they haven't dropped it already. Okay, cool, good. Please say this thing doesn't get shot out of the sky. Approaching drop zone. That's a cool mask, it's like a lizard face. Remember, you've only got one shot at this. Bombs away. How big is the radius of this thing? Is it meant to take this entire army out all at once? Uh -oh. oh, that was qu that's a big shockwave. I thought it was just an EMP. That's a bomb. Is this what was meant to happen? That okay. That is um not what I. Okay, it's both. Oh wow. EMP and a giant bomb. And your stuff's down, but the clones seem fine, right? Here it comes! That's still coming. Okay, that's the last thing. Wow. I'm losing my transmission. Yep, you're gone. Good. Oh yeah, his hand. Oh, I like that detail. I keep forgetting that he's lost. He's got a robot hand. Well, Doc. <laughs> Looks oh, his hand's back online. If his hand... What? The ground is sinking. Oh, why did you not check to see if it was any sinkholes or weak spots? Yeah, if technology can come back online quickly, does that not mean the droids can come back online? How big is the sinkhole? Oh, okay, yeah, you're losing everything. Oh, no, okay, yeah, more death, yep. Yeah. This has gone very badly. Uh, so many are dying, wow. Ah, so things can come back online. But then they kill them while they're down. But the blast created a sinkhole which engulfed many of our troopers. 
We have search parties yeah. looking for them now. Okay, good. So you haven't given up on them. Treaty must be passed by the council. We need that treaty signed so we can gain access to the fuel reserves here on Malastair. So do what they say. They've lost contact with the rescue team. Why? One problem always seems to replace another. Yeah. There's smoke coming out of that hole. I hope your bond has not upset the delicate balance of our planet. What balance? That seems like an important thing to note if it's important. What did they not know when they set this thing off? That crater is huge. And... Wow. That's not like a crater, that looks like a tunnel. What is that? That, that's footprints, scratch marks. Helmets, yeah, there people died. I imagine they fell to their death. They will sign the treaty. We really? appreciate your cooperation. Yep. Without your fuel, our offensive will grind to a halt. It's interesting that it's taking this long. Of a great alliance. Yes, so why not sign it already? Get those people down here. Why do you need them? What happened down here, Trooper? General, there's something down here with us. Why? Why? Calm yourself, soldier. We'll check it out. What could possibly be down here? To be down here, you must have blown into a tunnel or something. There was nothing above that fell in. That's a weird rock. That looks symmetrical. What's that? Sir, it has ridges. There's nothing around here. But what are you standing on? That does not look like the ground. Bad feeling about this. Yeah, that's alive. That's alive. That thing is huge. What is that? Oh, giant green eye. Screaming. Why? Stop making it angry, you are basically ants to it! What does this thing look like? What is it? How big is it? I thought the things in the last episode were big. How- what is- this is like a- It's like- what is it? Godzilla? Is it Star Wars Godzilla? Oh, it is long! Oh, this thing is massive! I I'm still can't grasp what it actually looks like. It looks like a giant worm with hands. Like a giant scaly worm. Oh! That guy's dead. Why is its feet so flat? I can't see. Turn on your beacon. Ah, wait! Oh, that looked weird. It's a bunch of tendrils. Oh, now it's swatting at everything. It looks angry. Now's our chance. Let's go! Yes, please leave. Can't get a good look at it. There's mist is all around it. Okay, you out. Good. What? Does it have three hands? Like one? It has an arm on its back. Yeah. What? What part of its body was that? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. It has three arms. One on its. How does that even? What? I'm so. It's. Its design is so trippy to me. Okay, you're out. Good. I don't get why it's so. How can you even see him? Surely a thing that large going after Anakin would be too much effort. What's it doing? It's just gonna step on you. It's design is so cool. It's like flat. What's going on? No, I don't hurt it. What? You can't! It bounced! A lightsaber light bounced off its scales. It, can a lightsaber not cut through this thing? Is that new? Is that can is that weird? How normal is that in this universe? To find something that lightsabers can't cut through. It really is coming through. Is it stuck in the hole? It might be stuck in the hole. Can it not get out? How big is the hole compared to it? Don't worry about me. I'm all right. R2, it really saved your life. That thing ate it. That thing. It is a Zillow beast. Zillow beast? It roamed Malastair, devouring our ancestors. It roamed. It, you, it, they were naturally just around this planet. They were killed off. They are supposed to be extinct. That's not great. Okay, it's night time. It's been stuck in the hole. Okay, phew. Okay, yeah, the hole is gigantic. It can't get out. Good. You're really just trying to kill it? I mean, can't, if it can't get out of the hole, just leave it. This just seems cruel. His weakness. Weakness? How are you hiding? Your men are killing a unique life form. It is a dangerous, bloodthirsty huh? monster! So you're not on board with the killing of it, okay. It was under attack. It had lived peacefully below the surface for all these years. True. We dropped that bomb to save your planet, at your request. Save our fuel for you to buy. Yeah, yeah. Find your treaty, then you must help us destroy the beast. Really? 
purpose would it serve to kill it if it really is the last of its kind? It is our duty. Mm. So it is the last of its kind. I'm feeling bad for this thing now. It was living all happy and nice under the planet, not bothering anyone. These people went and let it see the light of day and then start attacking it immediately. That's mean. We cannot allow the destruction of an innocent life form. Then there will be no treaty. Hey, then I get it. It's their culture and they just want to kill it. Mm. Remember what the Chancellor said. It isn't the creature. It's the principle. Yes. Good. Violates what we stand for as Jedi. Wonderful. More separation between Jedi and Senate. Senate would basically let them kill it so they can get the fuel. This is Jedi stuff. Good. We'll handle this our way. That's no matter what these Jedi. That is a cool drawing of this thing. They got a hologram of it. I recommend that we transport it off the planet as soon as possible. We can find a place for it to live undisturbed in the outer room. You want to move this thing? How is that even possible? They want us to help them destroy it. Then by all means help. What? This creature is of no importance to us. Senate and Palpy. Why would Palpatine want this thing dead? Palpatine is evil and dark side. What could he want with its death? Everything he does has a reason. Its outer scales are virtually impenetrable. None of our weapons could harm it. Even my lightsaber couldn't cut it. That might interest him. Somehow duplicate that for our ships. Okay. An impenetrable armor. Oh no, that really made his eyes light up, didn't it? Maybe a stun cannon or, or a pulse could penetrate oh, through yeah. the skin and putting it into a deep sleep. It would appear to be dead. We could transport it to a secure location. Are you sure the dogs would want to keep the body? That may be the only way we shall get this treaty signed and rest Master Windu's conscience. Uh, yeah, Palpy. Come on, he's Palpy. Come on, mate. You gotta realize you don't like Palpy. There's more to it. I know you see it. You have to wait until Avenger the Sith before the satisfying conclusion. They're not really satisfying. You're a fool if you think your weapons will even scratch, Zillow Beast. These are no ordinary weapons. What do you have? But our way is already proven. Your way. I mean, they did kill them all to begin with. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Is that poison? They're gonna drown it in fuel? Is that fuel is green. I don't know what it is. I feel bad for this thing. Just trapped down here. It's done nothing wrong. Really? Our fuel is deadly to the beast. Uh. It will kill this one now. You're only going to provoke it. You'll drive it out of that hole. Wait, you can drive, you can take it out of the hole? How do you know I can get out of the hole? It's walking, it's oh wait, yeah. Oh yeah, it, oh no, it's gonna try and escape the gas, and the way to escape it is to climb. Here it comes. You guys gotta run. Don't go closer to it! Yeah, you're just angling it more. What? What do you mean? Stop! Well, when you see its head come out of the hole, you'll realize. I said order them to stop our wives. We Just are innocent. Look. It's gonna pop its head up right now. <laughs> you can hear it getting close to and its footsteps. There it is, you idiots. Yo, yeah, they're all dead. They're, everyone's gonna die now. They really just unleashed Godzilla of the Star Wars universe. Charge up the rays. Is this even going to do anything? Oh, its tail is weird as well. Oh, this thing is such a weird... It's like a ribbon. It's like a large ribbon worm thing. Yeah, everyone's dying. He, oh, they killed their mounts. He's still alive though. Ooh. Oh, that's loads. Oh, it's trying to block him. It's hurting it. It's doing something. Nope. Back up. Back up. People in that one just died. And more death. It's swatting them. It's like it has three uh, sets of arms and legs. Well, not sets. It's using its tail like to kick things away. And then it has another weird thing on its back, which is basically another hand. It's just checking them all. Yep. You, oh, you're not gonna have enough lasers left. I would just leave the planet. This thing is this thing's one. Has it? Oh, is it feeling sleepy? The minute you saw the thing, you should have just left. This thing, yeah, no, you're lo you, you're all dying. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not dying. You should just patch your things and let this thing go. 
Is it going down? Oh. It's going down. It's going down. It's down. I feel bad for him. Look at him. He's just a sleepy lizard. Think of what this poor thing's gone through. Well, no. like released from this little home, attacked with poison gas and a bunch of other stuff, and then shot with laser beams. So he's going to wake up on an unfamiliar world. Bad for him. Welcome to the Republic, Dozier. I am sure this business arrangement will be mutually beneficial. So this was officially expanding the Senate and the Republic. Have you selected a planet for relocation? Oh, shit. There has been a slight change of plan. Ah, evil. They believe it should be Don't. further studied in a more controlled environment. To be and born. where is this controlled environment? On Coruscant. You want to bring this thing to Coruscant, like the capital of the Republic. You want to bring Godzilla to Tokyo, basically. He's evil. He's evil. He's evil. We get our fuel, you save your creature, and now he'll be safe. No, he won't. Yeah, no, Coruscant's gonna fall. Some bad things gonna happen to Coruscant. Bad, bad things are coming to Coruscant. That, yeah, that is just a disaster. That has disaster written all over it. That was a very interesting episode. A lot happened. We had someone new join the Republic, and the most important part, a giant monster has awoken from the underneath of this planet, and that is another terrifying thought. So we just had Palpatine's plan of trying to experiment on children and make a false army, and now you have his plan to... I guess weaponize this new creature that's been discovered that is immune to lightsabers. He wants that on ships and armor. That cannot be good. But then we've got to think, in the original trilogy, lightsaber does cut Darth Vader's armor. So you must not fully get that unless he uses stuff in the Death Star. Because they always have to go inside it to kill it or kill the Death Star. So maybe he does succeed here. That's a very worrying thing. What's going to happen to this poor creature? I feel so bad for it. It's literally been taken from its home and it had a very bad awakening people attacked it it did it really did nothing wrong. i want to i almost want to know what would have happened if they sort of didn't attack it would it have just gone back to going in its hole because i'm assuming that it wasn't just buried under there it's got to be like a tunnels or something what would it have done if they just left it alone would it have gone back underground and found another little passageway and left everyone that be would it have come up would it have just looked at them all and left them alone what would have actually happen if they left it and le and just let it do whatever it was going to do? If it attacked, then feel free to attack it. But it looked sort of peaceful and calm. I feel bad for it. The most dangerous beast is the beast within. Quite fitting for the whole Zillow Beast thing. Chancellor Palpatine orders Jedi Knights Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker to transport a fearsome Zillow Beast. Yeah, poor creature. After seeing that not even a lightsaber could harm the beast. Yeah. The fact that it bounced, like, you'd think light might just not cut it, so maybe the, I guess, the light would basically hit it and then disappear. The fact that it bounced off the scales is very interesting. Did you actually bring this thing to Coruscant? Well, it actually fit on the ship, I wasn't expecting that. The scale, the star, the scale of the star was just weird to me. Stop pointing guns at the poor thing. Should have just left it alone. Uh, look at that evil smile on his face. Such size, such power. Evil. I believe this creature could pose any number of dangers. Bringing it here to Coruscant is a mistake. Yep. I assure you, I did not make this decision lightly, Master Jedi. He feels like he's slipping. That whole, the size, that power line, it's uncharacteristic for the like nice old man Palpatine was meant to be. He's going to be caring and compassionate. Focusing on power and such, that seems out, that seems like he's slipping. I'm turning the Zillow Beast over to you, Doc. I trust it will be given good care. The yes. Beast is a priceless Better. resource, Master Windu. Don't think of it like that. Okay, don't, not happy with that. She's just seeing it as a resource. Great. It's a living, sleepy lizard. Look at him, he's just snoring away. I find that thing so cute. Please don't do anything bad to it. Why would the Chancellor want to bring the Beast here? Exactly, think. The knowledge could prove beneficial, but from what you and Anakin reported on Malastare, it hardly seems worth the effort. Exactly. Think about this. There's so many close opportunities where they could have discovered Palpatine's secrets, honestly. Oh, is he constantly being zapped? Look, he looks sad. What are you doing? What's that funky looking joy doing? Oh, no, that's... Nah. Yeah, that hurts. 
take me as blood. Oh yeah, I don't like this. That's gotta feel like maybe like that's for us, a fingernail being lifted up. That's awful. Put the scale back. Oh, because like it's a widget thing. That can't be nice. Look at the poor thing. If we could examine their composition, we might be able to synthesize them to reinforce our clone armor. We need to remove the scales mm. first. Wait, remove scales? Wait for it to shed. It might still grow. Not efficient to simply kill the beast. Say evil. Kill it. Are you sure? Chancellor, I must protest. Yes, good. Protest. Last of its kind, this creature may be intelligent. Could it? It could be intelligent? Just an animal. Oh, it doesn't like you. I already like it more already. Oh, it really hates Palpatine, doesn't it? After all, principle is in short supply these days. Does the thing understand that Palpatine wants to kill it? Does it actually understand that? Warfare brings countless deaths. Deaths that could be prevented once the beast's secrets are unlocked. Stop rationalizing this. To hasten that process, it is our moral duty to explore it. No, it's not. The fact remains that the beast is indestructible. Nothing is truly indestructible, Doctor. Including you. Malastair fuel that affected the beast? Ugh. Weakened the Zillow, yes, but... Excellent. I suggest you start there. Don't kill it. It's cute. It's like a cute Godzilla. Don't kill it. Or we shall replace you with someone who can. No. You better pull through. You better not kill this creature. It really does not like Palpatine, does it? It sounds like it's crying. Let it out. Let it go. It might just go underneath Coruscant. How much is there under Coruscant? It can go underground still. It might survive. Can't really get back to its home planet. Thought I was just meeting Obi-Wan here. Master Kenobi explained the problem. I'm here to help. Wonderful. What problem? The situation with our friend from Malastare? Uh-huh. Yes, he is a friend. Don't hurt him. You think I can help influence the chance? The Zillow Beast was chained up you and could. brought here against its will. It has no voice to defend itself. Yeah. Could C-3PO translate for it? Because you had the snow people. They were intelligent. Why can't they see this thing is intelligent? A creature's life, maybe even an entire species is at stake. Doesn't that at least warrant a discussion? Yes. I should have known secrets do not stay secret for long around here. Isn't that precisely the point of a democracy? Why are you trying to keep a secret, Papati? Mm -hmm. Some things must be kept secret, even from the people, so as not to aid the enemy. Stop making reasons. Isn't it that the beast must die, Senator? But the greater good demands it. Who even are you? In secret and without debate, good for anyone. Exactly, you tell him. Don't you have more pressing issues require your attention today? Stop trying to push her off. A democracy is only as strong as the people who comprise it. At present, the people I am charged with protecting are dying faster than I... Stop it. Stop making bad reasons. You're evil. I need to remember that his idea is that the war is going to come into an end and he's going to rule. So what is his actual reason for doing this? Because all this is lies. It's a good reason to kill it, but it's all a lie. And it's going to convince the heroes, isn't it? I'm certain a reasonable solution will present itself. Master Kenobi has taught you well. I honestly think he's going to end up using this stuff for Death Star, isn't he? That's his plan. It's going to be armor for the Death Star. Whose side are you on anyway? Yours, mm. but you must admit the Chancellor makes some good points. No, he doesn't. He's lying. Oh, you poor baby. I trust you have some progress to report? Yes. Is he even angry at the hologram? This thing knows! Their fuel toxin into a poison gas. I believe it's now strong enough to kill the Zillow Beast. Don't you dare. I wish I saw an alternative. However, sadly I must ask you to proceed with your assessment. This shot is cool. It shows like Palpatine being all nicey nicey and then the Beast just in the background glaring at him. That's cool. <laughs> No, no, don't you dare. Don't worry, we'll all be over soon. Begin procedure. So you, you can even apologize to it, but you can't save it? Vital signs are dropping. That quickly? No! Come on, put up a fight. Do something, please. Oh, no, it's gonna break out. I mean, I want this, but this is a terrifying idea. Oh, yep, yeah, it's we. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, how did that stuff hold him to begin with? Yeah, it's out. That stuff is like paper to him. He's gone. He's gone. He's on the move. Oh, we have stuff out there to shoot him. 
he's out. He's gonna break out. You can't stand a chance against this guy. If that creature's as powerful as they say, what good are these rifles gonna be? Yeah. I'd like it if I were you. Oh, yep, yeah, they're dead. And he has been unleashed. And what can he do now? Where can he go? He can just run around in confusion. Ah, you're still alive. Oh, poor thing. I really care about this creature more than all the people on this planet. We have a problem, sir. Airway sounds. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Okay, seeing it, yeah, that's bad. A lot of people are gonna die. This thing is fast. Yeah, it does have another arm on its back. It is using it as a hand. It's bouncing off him. Oh, wait, is it going for Palpatine's picture? Is that what it's doing? Oh, this thing is like, this thing is awesome. It's like climbing over everything and moving around it so naturally. Oh, yep, death. Oh, wow. It's going out of it. It knows. It's intelligent. Where's it going? It's really gonna do a King Kong, isn't it? It's gonna climb this building. Are they gonna reference that? Wait, did you just- wait, do you know? Did it climb up somewhere high to find the Senate thing? It's coming this way. It knows! How can it know where Palpatine is? What is this creature? It is fast. It's on top already. It knows. I love this thing. It's making me think, is this thing force sensitive? It's managed to sense where Palpatine is. It understood Palpatine wanted to kill it. Or maybe it understands that Palpatine's on the dark side. Yes, we are going now. Oh, there's fear in his eyes. Good. This thing's force sensitive, isn't it? It can sense Palpatine. So either it's intelligent and force sensitive so that it knows Palpatine wanted to do it harm and it's now holding a grudge and wants to kill Palpatine. Or, this thing is on the light side and can sense the evil in Palpatine and wants to extinguish it. This is very interesting. I think we may have enough toxin now. My guards will be no. with you shortly. Don't kill it. Send it send it back to the planet, please. Does it have to be destroyed? The Jedi stun can will not eliminate no problem. the problem. Send it back to the planet or put it on some uninhabited planet. Let him live out his rest of its days. I wish we had never brought the beast here. Agreed. It's all Palpatine's fault, and yet no one recognizes it. I believe something is following us. Oh wow, well, you you can't die, can you? Oh, it grabbed you. See, I want to know if it's just after Palpatine, would it leave everyone else alone? We're doomed. Does Palpatine know it's after him? Does he recognise it? Like the force within it? Wait, would it be force sensitive? Because I wouldn't. if it was force sensitive, you'd think the Jedi would sense it as well. In the beast clutches, the Chancellor is. Anakin might be with him, and Senator Amidala. This would save so many people if it just won. And yes, you don't want Anakin to die, and you don't want... Padme to die. But if this beast won here, the Empire would not have happened. Considering the circumstances, I'll take the risk. This is the most at risk Palpatine has been so far. I've got a bad feeling about this. Why? What does that mean? Everything means something with him. What is Skywalker doing? He's just cutting the ship. How can there be a plan if it's improvised? Not to worry. <laughs> just catch them when they fall. <laughs> Distract the beast we shall to give Skywalker more time. How can you distract it? I don't think that's gonna work. It's pretty set on one person. Oh no, it has, what does it, is it interested in you? Does it care? Kinda does. Oh, Ayla's there as well. Getting more on her. I hope you know what you're doing. Here's where the fun begins. Hang on. What are you doing? You just cut the thing in half? Oh no. And you've all fallen out, you've all fallen out. Have you all? Where's Palpatine? Is he still on it? Catch it! He's still on it! Don't catch it, let him die. Really? To save the Emperor, you save the dark side. He must love this, the Jedi actually saving his life. Does it? What can you do? You can't really do anything here. Lightsabers do nothing. Just leave him alone. Let him deal with it. Oh, you can you can save it. You'll save it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Come on, come on, come on. Here you go. Yep. Ah, two, use it. Okay, suction caps. Wonderful. Oh. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. She's fine, she's fine. She doesn't die here. Oh, whoa. I want to... Is it just going to make a... Yep, yep, it just cares about Palpatine. That's all this thing cares about. All pilots, fire. That's going to do nothing. Leave the lizard alone. You know, should just have Yoda and Ayla running up and down this thing. They're doing nothing. Are you actually getting irritated? By oh, you are. And there's death. No, stop doing this. If they could see he's after one person, maybe that could change their minds. Stop. No, don't put him. Don't make him sleepy. We have to get you out of here. Let him die. Okay, that is so awesome. It literally only cares about him. That's such a cool shot. Just that huge face staring down. Can't carry both of us. You go, R2, sir. R2, don't you dare. R2, no. R2! Oh, R2, I love you, but still, you saved the wrong one. Two people are still up there. Oh, yeah. You'll be fine. Time to leave it is. Yeah. You two are doing nothing. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get one in, but leave Abadi behind. Use the gas bombs. No. Yeah, please, no, no. Is this dangerous to anyone else but the beast? No. Oh no! I actually breathed that in. It came out of his nose. No. Stop! Oh, no. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. No. Stop! Stop! No, oh no, 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 no. You need to move, move. No, this sad music's playing. Stop it. Is that gas gonna harmful to them? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. No, don't, no, 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 no. Don't, no, no, don't, don't fall, don't fall. Do you not feel sad at all? Have some feeling. No. No, come on. Oh, you poor baby. Not happy with this episode. Oh! It's actually dead. Oh, I don't like that. Look at him. Oh, he's just all sprawled out. Oh. I am not happy. Not happy at all. It's a tragedy that the Zillow Beast paid with its life for our mistakes. You bet. We'll make certain that sacrifice was not made in vain. It's almost just gonna go to the Death Star, isn't it? Now he has his armor. Doctor, a word if you please. What? What now? Your new orders. You want me what? to clone the beast? What? Please no. Could they do that? What? No. You want more of the? Oh dear, that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare possibility. Oh great, no. Oh, I mean, it could be good. This species could live on, and it would just be him. But. That's, um, it would not be great in the hands of Palpatine. He first he wants a Sith army, now he wants probably an army of those things. That is not good. That is a disaster. Oh, that was, that was a beautifully constructed episode, but I am very sad and now terrified. I'm not happy after all of that. That's made me so sad. It's, it's really quite stunning how they made this creature appear in like just two episodes and yet I feel this badly for it. Everything that was done to it is just torturous and they killed it in the end and the way it died was so nasty. Can you imagine just being poisoned to death in a foreign planet by basically tiny little aliens? And it's so sad and yeah, I'm not happy. This was definitely a very good and interesting episode. It's definitely on par with the episodes we've just seen from season two. And how much this has gone into Palpatine is quite shocking. It's so subtle how he works and like no one actually sees this apart from the beast itself. So it seems like anyone who's around him constantly sees it. Yeah, it's just, it hurts that no one's actually realized it. And if the beast had its way, the Empire wouldn't have happened. It would have gotten to Palpatine. It would have killed him. And that does make me ask, is this thing intelligent? Is it force sensitive? There's just so much stuff now I will never know about this creature. And it's so sad to think that this thing will be used now for evil. Its corpse will basically be torn apart. And I guess 
used for Death Star, any other ship that he needs that will never be destroyed. Because I'm pretty sure the Death Star was impenetrable. It could only be destroyed when you got to the core. So that means the outer shields of it were probably made from this creature. And that's so sad to think about. Not to mention that now this guy wants to clone this creature. That is an insane thought that there'll be more of these things? Like, do, when does that plan come to fruition? Because they can easily clone things. I doubt it would be that difficult. They have the creature and the specimen and the blood. So, I mean, they might only be able to make a few because now that Django's gone, their clones are sort of running out. So, what could... What, how, how, he doesn't have the army of them in the original trilogy. So, where on earth does that fit in? Because that is honestly terrifying. His plans so far have been to torment, not torment, to make a Sith army and now make an army of these things. His plans are incredible and terrifying and they have not missed and I'm interested to see when that will show up again. I almost don't because I don't see how the Jedi could possibly deal with it. They need that gas and then the only way to deal with them would be to kill them which makes me very sad. I did really enjoy Mace in these two episodes. He was actually sort of far more Jedi-like than I sort of expected because he's very more stickler for the rules, yet he sort of didn't want to obey the rules with the Chancellor and go for more Jedi approach, trying to save the last of a kind species. Yeah, that was a surprisingly nice addition to Mace because, yeah, he normally doesn't feel like that. He normally feels just an arm of the Senate, but really, like, more focused on Jedi stuff and actually wanting to save this creature and diso didn't want to obey the Chancellor. Not Chancellor, because he's... Is he Chancellor now? Yes, he's Chancellor now. Chancellor Palpatine? Yeah, because he's not Cham... I'm getting so confused. There's so many titles in this. But yeah, he didn't want to obey him, and I really respect that with Mace, and I love that they added that to him, because they could have used any Jedi, but they used Mace, so I'm happy with that. But they're still sad that they killed him anyway, and the beast died. And of course, these two episodes really showed off Anakin and Palpatine's relationship more, because you never saw that in the movies, so I do like how this show is filling in those gaps, how Anakin and Palpatine became so close. And like, even that subtle thing where he sort of left Ahsoka. I didn't think we saw Ahsoka again in this episode after he shut her out of the room. That's interesting. He's almost separated those two, which Yoda put them together to help each other. So Palpatine almost recognises that and is trying to separate them. That can't be good. But yeah, it is like worrying to see how much Palpatine does rub off on Anakin because we know how it all ends up and it's just sad to watch it all unfold because we know there's nothing that can be done about it and it's just painful to watch. But yeah, it's very well done. But yeah, still very painful. So with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one for when I react to season two, episode four and five. See ya.